Asus have been one of few brands who've consistently focused on Chromebooks and they continue to do so. They now have a couple of very interesting Chromebook launches that we're gonna take a look at in today's video. Fair disclaimer, I am working with Asus on this one, but the viewpoints that you're gonna be seeing in this video, they're mine and mine alone. With that said, let's take a look at these new Chromebooks. So guys, before we start, let's first address the question of why should you even consider a Chromebook? Now, I have a detailed video on the same that I'm gonna be leaving a car to here. But hey, you might be busy or you might not really be bothered to check it out. Either way, here's the short version. Chrome OS is pretty lightweight and it gives you great performance, great value for the money you actually invest. Being lightweight, battery life is typically much better and Chromebooks are also usually built with a focus on day-to-day -day use, as in battery and portability. Now what makes or breaks an operating system is what you can and cannot do with it. In other words, the access you get to applications and Chromebooks, they get you access to not just the entirety of Google Play, but also Linux desktop software. BTW, the last time we talked about this, Linux support was in beta, but now we have native support for Linux desktop software right out of the box. And then we get to the support aspect of things. Chrome OS, of course, comes with automatic updates from Google for a long, long time. I mean, guys, there are three Chromebooks featured in this video, and one of those is actually something that launched a while back. But even that has guaranteed updates from Google till 2027. So the commitment to updates, vast availability of apps, a lightweight operating system that's easy to use with devices that are typically built around portability, battery life, and most importantly, affordability. Now, this is why I feel Chromebooks are worth considering. Anyways, with that in mind, let's now get to the new launches. First off, let's start with Asus's new CM3, a detachable Chromebook. This looks nice, doesn't it? It's just 7.9 millimeters thick with a weight of about 500 grams. Now that's despite sporting an aluminum unibody design. So pretty sleek and light and frankly, it just feels great to use. Despite the sleekness, Asus have managed to pack in a 27 watt hour battery and the claim is up to 12 hours of battery life. Now, if you feel you'd need more than just a tablet for your use case, which maybe say writing something on Google Docs, or maybe you wanna work on spreadsheets with Microsoft Office, well, there is a detachable keyboard included. So this kind of converts the tablet you see into a full-fledged laptop. Now this keyboard, it's quite easy to type on. The layout spacious, the keys, they have a millimeter and a half of travel. Overall, I found the typing experience comfortable. Oh yeah, I also really love what Asus have done with that ErgoLift design. So see this, you can just raise the keyboard a little and it latches on to the magnets. So now you have that elevated angle that kind of makes the entire typing experience a little bit more ergonomic. Anyways, talking about angles, let's talk flex angle magnetic stand cover. Oh yeah, that's a mouthful. But basically what it is, is this back cover that comes with the CM3. It's got a fabric finish that of course feels nice to touch, but it also adds to the grip. Now this is the magnetic cover, which means it's more convenient. If you wanna pop it on or off, it's as simple as, well, that's pretty much it. Now, if you wanna watch a video, cool. Now say you're in bed and you wanna change that angle just a little bit, you can do that too. The hinge is quite stiff and can hold the angle that you want. Now say you wanna browse Reddit instead, vertically, Oh yeah, this back cover, it can also go this way. So you can have it propped up vertically. Additionally, if you wanna take quick notes, there's a garaged USI stylus included. This stylus has 4096 levels of pressure sensitivity and comes with support for fast charge. What do you mean fast charge on a stylus? Well, this is pretty sick. Pop it back in for just 15 seconds and you get to use it for 45 minutes. Nice, right? Now on the inside, the CM3 sports a MediaTek Companio 500 SoC, a chip that was built for Chromebooks and one that's paired with four gigs of RAM and up to 128 gigs of eMMC storage. It's solid for what's needed from a small and compact Chromebook. Your lightweight tasks, they run well. Now, if you need more power or something with a larger screen, then Asus's other offering, the more premium Chromebook Flip CX3 could be something to look at. Now this is more of your traditional laptop form factor, but it's got a 360 degree hinge meaning there are three ways to use it. Option one, you get to just use it as a regular laptop, there's nothing new, nothing you've never seen before. Or option two, you could switch things up and use it in the 10 pole mode. So basically the keyboard here, it acts as a stand. Or number three, you could just fold it completely and use it as a tablet. Now at this point, the keyboard gets disabled and also notice how there's a camera here. 
This is present so that you have an easy option to just scan documents and whatnot when you're using the CM3 in that tablet form factor. Now remember the part I said about improved performance? This one, it packs a 11th gen Intel processor, Core i3, i5, or i7 with up to 16 gigs of LPDDR4X RAM and 512 gigs of PCIe M.2 storage. And also on the inside is a 50 watt hour battery and Asus claims up to 11 hours of use. Now, despite using a proper 11th gen mobile Intel processor, Asus have gone with a fanless thermal design. So this Chromebook, it's super silent. So if you are someone like me, and if you say you're writing, the slightest bit of noise could throw you off well, you're not gonna be hearing any of that, at least not from the Chromebook. Now, despite the 14 inch display and the 50 watt hour battery, the CX3, it still manages to weigh in at just 1.65 kilograms. Once again, it has this garaged USI pen with the same fast charging built in. Well, that's something we've already seen in this video. What's new here? The CX3, given it has a full laptop form factor, it includes way more IO. With the detachable that we saw earlier, the CM3, it was pretty much the USB Type-C port combo jack and done, right? Whereas over here, you've got the power and volume keys alongside a pair of USB 3.2 Type-A and Type-C ports to the right. Another pair of the same ports reside to the left, this time with a micro SD card slot and a combo audio jack. Talking about the audio, the speakers are also present to the sides and these sound really good. The fact that they are not downwards firing is something I really do appreciate. Now add to it that 14 inch Full HD IPS panel, 16 by 9 BD dub, the media experience is top notch. There is a HD webcam up top and Asus offers a webcam shield for privacy. This is a webcam on a Chromebook, so it's nothing noteworthy, but definitely gets the job done for video calls. So what else? Oh yeah, the keyboard, once again, pretty spacious. The touchpad is much larger on this one. Add to it, we again get that ergo lift design, which ends up offering you that keyboard and trackpad at a slight angle. It's, it's a comfortable experience. The CX3 also meets the demanding military standard 810H. Basically, what that means is that it's been through a bunch of tests to ensure that it can take a beating. Now, the next Chromebook on today's list, it's not really a new launch. This is the one I was talking about earlier, the one that launched a while back. But what Asus have done here is they're offering a new SKU. The C214, it now gets a 96 gig SKU, which is basically 32 gigs of eMMC with a 64 gig micro SD card included. The highlight here though is the fact that it has an effective price. It ends up with an effective price of 15,740. Now guys, regardless of which Chromebook you end up going with, you get 100 gigs of cloud storage free for 12 months alongside three months of YouTube premium. And here are the prices and offers for all Chromebook SKUs available at the moment. So that's basically what I wanted to talk to you guys about. So what do you think about Asus's new Chromebooks, the offers on existing Chromebooks? Do you see at any point, do you see yourself picking a Chromebook up? If not, what do you think Google needs to do new? I mean, what do you think Google needs to do with Chromebooks to make you a believer in Chromebooks? Let me know whatever you think in the comments below. Also, while you're down there, thumbs up, thumbs down based on whatever you felt about this video. Subscribe, turn on notifications, hit that bell icon if you haven't yet. And thanks for your time, thanks for watching. Until next time, my name's Ash, you've been watching C4E Tech, and I'm signing off for now. You guys have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.